so these are all three of my Kenny Pig books. Um, I think that one and that one from Amazon, and that one was from Pets at Home. So I this just one is the RSPCA pet guide, Collins Care for Your Guinea Pig. And it's just got that guinea pig on the front. It's um, quite basic, really. Um, it's not a bad book. Um, it, it's quite informative. Um, it's kind of like your average book. It's a good one, really, if you're new to the world of guinea pigs, because it's not cu it's not too complicated, so you won't get too overwhelmed by like all the all the new information. Um, it's got quite a good section on breeds, um, and lots of pictures as well, which is always nice. Oh, look how cute. Um, yeah, and then it's got like companionship and things like that. And that's that's all good. And then that hutch isn't too small. I mean, sometimes you get ones that are tiny. So overall, this is quite a good book, and it covers all of those things: housing, feeding, hygiene, grooming, exercise, and first aid. Um, so apparently it was four ninety nine. It says there, but it won't focus. But um, it's probably a bit cheaper than that because that one was from Amazon. So I'll move on to the this second the one book, and um, this is a um, pet friendly one, and I think this one was from Pets at Home, um, if you can see that someone spilt something on it, so you'll just have to ignore that. But it just says guinea pigs, understanding and caring for your pets, and this one's quite good, but um, like it's got skinny picker and it's got quite nice pictures really, it's a good one for pictures, because they have some really cute pictures, like that one as well, how cute, how cute is that, and you're so cute. Aww. Um, but, I mean, stuff like this page, that's really bad, and that guinea pig is on its own, and look how small that is, and there's really bad food, but the camera won't focus, because it's a silly camera, and um, I think that's nice bright better. Looks like it. And then that's the whole pepper, so that could be quite handful. Um, and then the hutches that it shows, if I can find them. Oh, oh that's a cute guinea pig. Uh, these ones, and that one is horrible. I mean, look at that. Um, they're all quite bad, really. So, quite a good book, but some of the stuff it says isn't really true, but it's good for pictures, and it's it's quite easy to read, you know, big writing, which is always good, um, if you're young, and um, yeah, so that's that one, and I'll move on to the, the last book. book, is Guinea Piglopedia, or Piglopedia, or Guinea Lipedia, if you like. Um, this is a really good book. It's very informative. It doesn't have many pictures, um, but it it has lots of information about like food. The food chart's very good, and lots of stuff like that. Some of the stuff is outdated. Like it says, you can feed guinea pigs um, uh, like poultry feed, which I wouldn't do really. And the hutches are a bit small, if I can find a picture. Oh, but it has a really good food chart. And um, calcium, phosphorus, radio, like radius, and food and stuff, that's really good. Um, so, it's probably worth getting just for that chart, actually. And it has a really good um, care, a bit like health, and recognising problems. And it has really good diagrams, like these ones, for example, and that that's really useful as well. So this is a really good book. Um, the hutches aren't great, because they're quite small. Well, very small, in fact. Um, I just found the hutches. Like that isn't that great. I mean, it's good that it's off the ground, 
but it's kind of small. Um, so yeah, but the pictures that they do, whoops, they do have a cute one like that, but um, like that food is bad because they are selective, selective feed. You should have pellets definitely. I mean, unless your guinea pig really wants to eat pellets, they're, they're like the best. Or if they eat all muesli, I guess that's not bad. But mine would select your feed, knowing them. Um, oh, and that's quite a lot of carrot, probably too many. But oh well. So, it's a really informative book. It's not easy to read, but it's very interesting. Oh. So, um. Yep, so this is probably the best book. So these are all the books in order of which ones I like the best. So this one I really like. This one um, is quite good and then that one it's okay but uh, it's not the best. So um, yep, that's all of them and I hope you enjoy.